Game three of the NBA Finals. Here in Minnesota for this game three against the Timberwolves who are currently down two games to nothing in this series. Alrighty, tip off here. Hornets, Timberwolves. Timberwolves have not made any adjustments to their starting lineup after last game where they had a heartbreaking loss there in the fourth quarter where they led most of the game by 10. And Cedric is going to start off game three with a three. Get that out of here. Blocked. Cedric Lewis now on the break. Kick it out. Lamella. Ooh, that was nearly a turnover. Mel ball kicks it back out to me. All right, bet. Say less. Say less. Kick it out. Sabonis, why'd you step into that shot? You had a wide open midi, and you stepped into it. Sabonis, wide open for three from downtown to complete the highway play. I guess not. Blocked again. Cedric Lewis. Back-to-back -back blocks on Anthony Edwards for Lewis. Look at that. Look how high he got. That's definitely got to be a thumbnail. And when a minute left, Timberwolves have taken their first lead of this game so far. I have been pretty bad this game. Like, I can't get any shots to go. Yeah, see, there, there's an example. I think I'm possibly one of five or one of six from three tonight. It has not been going good. I'm two of ten from the field. It has been a struggle here for Cedric Lewis in game, what was this, three. As oh, we got saved from a Drummond offensive rebound there from the rim. I'm going straight to the basket. No one's there. And Cedric finally gets something to go in the rim. All right, Cedric's getting subbed out with 16 seconds left. Down by two points. Drummond at the free. He missed. He, he missed pretty damn badly. And we are down by nine with Lewis getting subbed back in the Timberwolves. Looking to get a game on their home court here in these NBA Finals. And they're off to a great start because we are playing so bad offensively. They, this is what they needed. As Marvin Bagley is going to go into the paint. Gets stopped by Aiton. Mikey Williams, LaMelo on him. Great defense and it's off. Cedric picks up his fifth rebound of the night. And he's going straight to the... Nope, he's not going straight to the rack apparently. Aaron Gordon, kick it back, kick it back. That's a midi. Bad release. Oh, my Lord. Cedric's about to have probably the worst triple-double in NBA history. As Aiton catches that lob. 7.6 assists, 6 rebounds, but 3 of 12 from the field. Not, not good. Uh, the, if you just look at the numbers straight up, 7.6 rebounds, 6 assists, a steal, and 2 blocks. Yeah, you're like, damn, he's having a good game. Then you look at the, the shooting splits, and it's not so good. Mikey Williams is somehow able to get it back to Anthony Edwards, but Cedric is there. He's defending two guys at once. Cedric going straight to the rack. Can he get it? He's going to get fouled. Can I hit this three, please? I'm wide open. That's a good release, and it drops. Cedric finally hits something. I'm four of, I think, 14 right now. Can I hit another one? They're running the play for me. Good release. Back to back for Lewis. I'm now 5 of 16. <laughs> Look at that first quarter. 7 points, 27% from the field. And we're still in this game somehow. We're only down 2 with Cedric shooting that poorly. Marvin Bagley cannot answer back. We can tie it up or take the lead with the Cedric 3. Oh, it's off. That was a good release, bro. He was not contesting that well. And Cedric just barely misses. And Sabonis, I almost I couldn't say his name. Sabonis gets the block. I wish Gordon was cutting there. Man, that three would have just ended this crowd. I'm going to launch it. Another good release with the takeover. Cedric is getting hot. One point lead for the Hornets. Oh, this is an ender if I hit it. Contested. Good release. It's good. Cedric Lewis, three straight triples, I think, maybe two straight, I don't know. He is on fire right now. Oh, and he fouls, and he's going to get subbed out. Hey, man, we were down by nine when I came in. We're now up by four. I will take it, and we have a five-point lead. Lewis went nuclear to end that second quarter. On the fast break now, no one's really cutting with me, though. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, and if anyone was running with me, which no one was, the bonus was attempting to. As, all right, you know what? Smoke's going to score anyways. Uh, we would have had a, a good possession there. But 
Both teams, four turnovers, both teams, four points off their turnovers. But the Hornets currently hold an 11 point lead here in game three of these NBA Finals after struggling. That's block number three for Cedric Lewis on Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is in hell right now with Lewis on him. This has just been outstanding defense from Cedric Lewis on Anthony Edwards. And all playoffs long, Cedric Lewis has just been a nightmare to be guarded by and as Anthony Edwards answers back with that contested midi. Back on the other end, Lewis, Lamella ball, picks up his dribble, pump fake. Anthony Edwards falls for it, going straight to the rack. Cedric, it's off. All right, Cedric Lewis getting subbed out, most likely for the rest of this third quarter, up by six currently, currently up by five. Not, I was barely subbed out, bro. 13 seconds left in this third quarter, currently have a seven point lead 78 to 71 uh Timberwolves are going to get the last shot off Jalen Suggs with the ball three seconds left he's all the way at the target center logo he's gonna pull up for a contested midi and hits it he hits that denies me of my ninth rebound and we're going into the fourth quarter in a low scoring game so far up by five the Timberwolves have tied it up our offense is just so stagnant right now we'll launch that good release it's good Cedric Lewis again Knocks down what I believe to be his sixth triple of the night. After starting off one of six from downtown, he should now be six of 13. Hornets now up by three. And Anthony Edwards is going to take a contested three. Andre Drummond nearly grabs that rebound, but luckily he does not. And cutting to the paint was Cedric, but no one wants to give it to him and they turn the ball over. Boy, I love playing with LaMelo Ball. It surely is fun. And uh, Aiton commits a foul. Five-point game. Cedric Lewis one rebound away from another triple-double. Oh, my God. Andre Drummond with the rack attack. Nearly taken down the rim. And the Hornets call a timeout. I am pretty confident that Marvin Bagley must have, like, four blocks in this game. Because, give it to me, LaMelo, I was wide open for so long, and I still drill it. Yeah, I, LaMelo, bro. You gotta get comfortable with just giving me the ball. 33 for Cedric. But, yeah, every single time anyone wants to attempt a shot in the paint, Marvin Bagley's there just swat it. Bro is like a prime Akeem over here blocking shots. Prime Mark Eaton. As I get a triple-double. I don't know if that's my first NBA Finals triple-double. I can't remember. Uh, I can go back through Synergy 2K and find out as I turn the ball. Bro, Andre Drummond has to have like two or three steals to win this game as Anthony Edwards gets a dunk and it's now a two-point game. All right, all right. Now no more mess. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I got Jalen Suggs on me, but too bad Aiton wants to be in the paint. And he wants to go back to the same spot that I was going to And three seconds. And now the Timberwolves have tied it up. 90 to 90 here. Kick it to me. Wide open. Another good release, and it's good. Lewis has ice in his veins. Eight threes in the game. Hornets once again lead by three. Up by three. Little under three minutes remaining. Cedric goes to the right side of the screen, right to the rack, and is going to get fouled. What a move! From Cedric Lewis to get what was basically a wide open layup, but gets fouled on the play. You would think, oh, kick it out to the corner. I don't trust my teammates to make that shot, bro. No way in hell. I'd rather take the contested layup and hope for a foul than give it to my teammates wide open. Five point lead. Timberwolves need a timeout. Oh my god, another nine of 17 after starting one of six. Cedric Lewis has been unbelievable this game after that rough, rough start. Jalen Suggs with the three. It's off. Oh, my goodness. The Hornets are running away with this one now. Running away. Cedric Lewis again. 43 points, 8-point lead, a minute and a half left. The Hornets are closing out this fourth quarter perfectly right now. Jalen Suggs contested. Floater, and it's good. Cuts the lead back to six. And the Hornets now control their own destiny. Can they go up three games to nothing? Oh, Cedric. Ten, three. Number 10. That could be the dagger. 
nine point lead for the Charlotte Hornets. 107, 98. Do the Timberwolves have an answer? Jalen Suggs kicks it. It's a turnover. The Hornets on the break. Cedric kicks it. Get, get Gordon. I can't speak right now. Nine point lead. Aiden in the paint. And that is going to do it. The Hornets are going to most likely take a commanding three games to nothing lead in search of their first ever NBA Finals. And Suggs is going to take that three and it's off. And that steal is going to seal it. I am not going to score. I've already got my 50. We are going to win game three of the NBA Finals. 113 to 98. This score was once 98 to 96. And the Hornets go on a 15 nothing run. And end up taking game three on the Wolves home court. Once again, the fourth quarter is the Timberwolves enemy. Anthony Edwards had 28 points on inefficient shooting. Once again, Mikey Williams had 15 points on even worse shooting. Danny Avdia had 14 points, did not miss a single shot, did not matter. Drummond had probably the best game out of anyone on the Timberwolves. 12 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 steals, and a block. And Marvin Bagley had 4 blocks by the way, and for the Hornets. And Cedric Lewis ends up shooting 50% from the field after that horrific first quarter. 3 of 11, 1 of 6. In that second half, he just went electric. Starting off 1 of 6, ended the game 9 of 12 from downtown. 50 points, 11 rebounds, 13 assists, a steal, and 5, count it, 5 blocks for the 6-4 shooting guard. 16 of 32, 10 of 18 from downtown historic probably the greatest finals performance ever deandre Ayton had 15 points 13 rebounds and three steals he played amazing melball at 14 and 9 he was 0 4 from downtown sabonis at 12 of 7 and uh aaron gordon 7 and 5 the hornets are one game away from capturing their first ever nba championship will they do it stay tuned that's it for me gg